Let me start from that phrase. I find it very difficult. If I know his real name, I would have referred to him because it is derogatory phrase which he coined when he started this mission of attacking Islam, attacking the Almighty Allah and the noble prophet Muhammad. So for a Muslim to be referred to be to be referring to him or to refer to him as standing alone, I find it very derogatory. But since that is what is known with, uh, I will find myself being compelled to refer to him as such. The case is very simple. It is case it was arranged for character assassination, defamation of character which is a punishable offense under the Nigerian legal system. He was not contrary to the belief of ill-informed and uninformed uh, noisemakers uh, on the social media platform. It is, it, it, it is true that any normal Muslim will have grudge or grudges against this boy for someone to boldly uh, turn the glorious Quran, burnt it, and claiming that you Muslims, what can your Quran do to me? This is very insulting and offensive. Took that lightly based on the provision of the Nigeria constitution because uh, in the court of law, we may eventually lose the case since he may argue or his lawyer may argue that it is his personal property and he can do and undo with it. But what he was charged of, the offense upon which he was charged, we want everybody to get this right. He was charged to court based on defamation of character of notable personalities within the community. That was what he was charged of. But people are mixing things together that it is because of the uh, uh, ISSE festival. Well, this is or whatever, whatever they call it, is an alien uh, belief to this community of ours. And that was why the community kicked against it. But uh, he was not charged based on that. Not that he was charged because of the essay, not but he was charged because he, 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 he turned the glorious Quran or he was, big, he was making uh, unprintable remarks on, the, on, on, on our noble prophet Muhammad. All this he was not charged because of that, but because of character assassination. Well, I also had this on the social media that uh, the boy that called himself Talolong was arrested based on a fake uh, court warrant. Well, there's nothing impossible in Nigeria. Uh, nothing is impossible in Nigeria. I'm not here to defend whether the warrant was fake or not. But less reason. It's always good for people to think outside, uh, outside of the box. Will entire police force choose uh, some men to put their life, to risk their life, put their life online, traveling from here to Ibadan to get him arrested based on fake, uh, you know, um, warrant? I think if that is the case, the entire police force is to be blamed. Then the judicial and the Nigerian judicial system should also be blamed. But I want to believe that there is nothing that one cannot say on social media today. If I have to go back to this issue of Isese, we just wake up one day and they are calling one stream. Uh, we never, it, it, two, three months ago, if you ask anybody in Eloni, please, do you know where Odo Yemaja is? Believe you me, he will tell you that go to Osogo. That is where you will find uh, Odo Yemaja. Just because some people decided on social media to be calling something, to be calling black white or white black, and people started to believe them. I can't expect somebody that is normal 
will believe that the police will act on fake warrant. Who issued the warrant in the first instance? But it means that the police force, they have original and they have fake warrant. Or the judicial system, they have fake or uh, original warrant. Or they think that it is we that we went to court that will, you know, manufactured a fake warrant to get him arrested. Is that not also criminal? Is it not criminal? So if it is a, a, a fake warrant, then let anybody charge us to court. We are ready to defend that. Well, Sowure and his uh, godfather, that is uh, Mr. Wali Soyinka, uh, supposed to be well informed. But if people decided to choose the other way, their example is like someone that saw the sun on the horizon and he said, we are definitely in the in, in 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 the dark of the night uh, what that is their opinion but what we expected from people who claim to be well informed about the nigerian sociology because so there was one time going for presidency and uh, Mr. Walesho Inka is known everywhere as uh, Mr. He, he brand himself as Mr. All Known. Don't be surprised that I refer to him as Mr. Walesho Inka. I'm talking as an academic because he doesn't have a PhD, which I have, and I'm a professor. That is not a derogatory remarks on him. Well, if they choose the other way, the, one will just pity them that as enlightened as you are you need to look at issues objectively i expect from Sugure and Soyinka to ask themselves a fundamental question people of Ilorin have been living peacefully with the christian community for years they are our guests they are living right inside the indigenous community settlement there's never been a problem with that we have now the number of churches we have in the learning must be must outnumber the number of churches in Suarez hometown wherever you come from or that of Sri Lanka I'm sure of this so if we have been living happily peacefully with these settlers and there's never been a problem between we the host community and the uh, 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 our guests they supposed to ask this fundamental question that why are we against the uh Isheshe? and even this boy that is calling himself uh talolong it is because they insult this is they insult our way of life and passivity as i used to say is not Muslim answer to naked injustice. If you are pink, you, you, you will react. If somebody insults you and you choose to be laughing, then it means that you are a bastard. But for you to protest peacefully, for you to protest uh, within the social framework shows that yes, you are intelligent. People of my community we demonstrated that. If a learning community will not accept whatever the judgment, whether negative or positive, will not have chosen the, 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 you know, the choice, will not have chosen that uh, chance of taking him to court. We have other, you know, measure that we can take to deal a that means of extra constitutional you know, method that can be used. But we choose that option. The option of taking the matter to the court. That is to let you know that if we are not ready to abide by court decision in the first instance, we will not go to court. So if he's exonerated, so be it. And if the court feels that, yes, he's guilty and he's pronounced guilty, so be it. But all I know is that law 
must take its course on this matter. Those he defamed, those he assassinated their character, and he's still bent on it. So, if the court feels that anybody can just wake up one day and start maligning everybody and be casting aspersions on the personality, and the president is also going to be so treated. And so Nigeria will become a zoo uh, community, so to say.